Hey guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed your time with your family and friends during the holiday season. I'm so excited for this new year, for the new beginning, for the new hope, new mercy, new opportunities, everything. I'm so excited. Um, and so let's just get to it. Today's video is about the seven things that I did to grow my hair. Uh, remember in the old, in the last video, I said that my hair was stagnant; it would not grow, had no curls like whatsoever, um, because I I damaged it so much that I never knew what my hair had potential to be. My hair was jacked up, but I did these things continually, and I had definitely have seen progress. It's not where I want to be, but it's definitely not where I was. Can I get an amen? First things first. Please let it go. You have to stop using heat. Um, Eating, don't do heat. It ruins your hair, ruins your strands, literally destroys your hair. You're literally frying your hair. I did not use it at all when I first began my hair journey. I went like, I think about a whole year without st um, straightening my hair. I do it now occasionally. I, I used to straighten my hair every single week. Um, my, the flat iron was literally like my best friend. Um, I grew up in a Hispanic household, a Dominican at that, and we are expert at straightening hair. And that's a whole nother topic. Topic, I'd like to discuss some other oh, heat number two number two is water guys We have to drink water and this goes for myself in the beginning of my hair journey. I was drinking liters Yes liters per day and now I literally have to fight myself to drink one <laughs> Plant that you do not water how do you expect it to grow and that goes for your body for your skin for your hair for everything We need to drink water number three is no shampoo so yes, I know. I don't. You don't shampoo. What? Your your hair smell? No, no shampoo. Literally just means I choose not to strip my hair's natural oils or essential oils. So I use something else. I use cleansing conditioners. Um, I recommend this one. This is Ren Pure um, Solutions. This is basically similar to a. Uh, I think to one, but it has other ingredients. It has zero sulfates, zero dyes, gluten, and a whole bunch of things I cannot pronounce that are bad for your hair. <laughs> uh, I really recommend this. I've been using it for a year now, and uh, it really does help because my hair, it is clean, literally squeaky clean, no dandruff, no residue, no nothing. Use something that cleanses your hair without stripping your hair from essential oils, and that's what cleansing conditioners do. <sighs> Four, <laughs> number four, eating right. We have to eat healthy, guys. Like I said before, we have to take care of our temple, our God-given temple. You know, if we're not consuming what's right for us, how do we expect external um, progression or, you know, flourishness? So if I'm not eating correct, my skin will begin to break out, my hair will become stagnant and will not grow, um, your nails, it's just everything. Everything that we consume has an effect in our body, externally and internally. Number five is deep conditioning. This is one that I personally suck at, but I am getting better. Um, I bought myself a... Um portable um what's it called hooded dryer and so i bought myself one of those that you just can like which makes it really comfortable because i can lay in my bed um and just read a book or just be on social media or whatever and have my hair drying with the deep conditioner that i prefer um and it's like a little hat it's like a plastic hat i can show you guys how i go about doing that and i put the deep conditioner in and I leave the deep conditioner in. Some people suggest not to, but that's just what works for my hair. My hair is very dry. And so me just leaving it on for 15 minutes or 20 just doesn't do the work for the conditioner. So I'll use my raw Shea Moisture. Um, that. Because it's a leave-in conditioner, I can deep condition it, deep condition and leave it in my hair. So, so number six is finger detangling. So we're so used to using regular combs. But we, we neglect the most important, the best, the God. 
God given comb our fingers. Finger detangling is simply detangling your hair with your fingers. Because when you use your fingers, you can feel any tangles anywhere where the knots are. But when you're using a comb, you're literally just yanking all that hair and you're causing breakage. So when you finger detangle, it really helps with um, retaining your hair's length, retaining your hair, and avoiding breakage that's caused by regular combs. So I usually, I don't only finger detangle, but I use it about 90% and then I just you know clean it up with a comb um, and number seven the last one this one is optional but this is something that I recommend I use gummy vitamins so I am one of those people who cannot intake you know capsules of you know biotin or whatever I just can't do it so I prefer doing gummies so I use the nature's bounty hair skin and nails I've been using it for years um, I know some people, they're concerned, it's, oh my god, I'm gonna grow a mustache, a beard, I'm gonna grow hair everywhere. Honestly, I'm hairy regardless, so I haven't noticed the difference. But I do recommend it because my hair has grown, and I think it definitely has a lot to do with the hair, skin, and nail, um, gummies. I also take regular Alive Woman's gummy vitamins. Um, this is just overall for your immune system, um, for your heart, your hair, your skin. So I do this just for overall health because like I said, if you're only focused on your hair's um, growth and your hair's health, then you're neglecting the most important thing which is your overall health. So yeah guys, those are the seven things that I suggest you do for your hair to grow. Those are the things that I did consistently and has helped me tremendously. I will be posting pictures somewhere up there, down there, or somewhere. Um, just so you guys can see how bad my hair was, how unhealthy and like not good my hair was. And um, I'm really just proud of my hair and it's not where I want it to be. I do have some heat damage here in the front, but it's so healthy compared to how it was. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Any questions, any concerns, if you're new to your hair, 